Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? This is Zach Jack Dan back with another Every Star Wars video. This is my Every Star Wars Black series from the Obi Wan Kenobi show on Disney Plus. Well, let's see what they got. And if you haven't already done so, get on over to Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description, card above, and get your pre-orders in for all of these Star Wars Black Series figures from Obi-Wan Kenobi. You received something special today. Yes. I got sent over my, um, I really did only just see this about an hour ago, my doll. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I don't know. I think I think that I don't know if it's just me. Like they scan you, you know, they they have these machines that like <laughs> they read your they read your body and your every da data point in your being is recorded and then still it somehow doesn't <laughs> quite look like you. you know what I mean? How? And then still and then still it, it's not it's quite right. right. I look like I look that like um, great. I look like Richard Chamber Chamberlain in the first, my first one from episode one. I was dead like Richard Chamberlain. I was like, maybe they, maybe they had an old scan of his that they just used for me. Hello, Star Wars fans, and welcome. As you saw earlier, we revealed this Obi Wan Kenobi in Wandering Jedi outfit. Once again, really excited to be able to showcase you guys all brand new figures. It's always fun and exciting to showcase things that we've been working on for months and months and months. As you can see on the side of the pack, this artwork looks really cool. Our packaging team did a phenomenal job. I think they really captured Obi-Wan Kenobi in his kind of heroic stance. So uh, we'll jump right on into it. This character comes with his uh, blaster, his lightsaber, and he also comes with a new little droid buddy. She is this tiny little flying saucer droid, and she is adorable. Everything we've seen of her is awesome. Her name is Lola. She comes with a little buzzsaw attachment that you can plug into kind of the front of the character. And you, uh, you can also remove the legs and you can replace those legs with this kind of clear stand. The clear stand does function uh, with the finger. So you can clip that, uh, that stand onto the finger. So it looks like he's kind of holding it, uh, looking at the droid. It's a really fun accessory. It's something that we tried something new. So as I crack into this, I'm gonna try not to lose any parts. So it comes with lightsaber the droid itself so she is a tiny little thing smaller than my fingernail so she is very small i'm going to try to put her down so i don't lose her Oop, there she goes and she is standing so yeah that was something that uh, took a lot of work from our uh, team to be able to get her to stand she is so tiny so here is the little stand, so you can plug that out. I'm not going to attempt to do it here just to, for sake of keeping this moving, since this is so fiddly. And here is her little buzzsaw. Another really cool little accessory, you can plug that right into the front of her mouth. Cool, so yeah, you can see that here. It's a lit, there we go, so. Yeah, she has a lot of really fun little tools and accessories and stuff like that that you'll see throughout the show. And then obviously the figure itself. So comes with his blaster and his lightsaber. Kind of what we've come to expect from Obi-Wan comes with his full cloak. Uh, it's a really cool looking, uh, just a really cool looking figure. This is something too that we really wanted to nail down the likeness. It was extra important for Obi-Wan since he is a hero of the show. Take the soft goods off. One of the things we definitely wanted to nail down on this guy was his uh, hair color. Some of our previous Obi-Wans have come in very red. Some of them have come in a little bit blonde. We wanted to make sure that this did look brunette. So uh, as with all the previous figures, uh, this one does come with a functioning holster. 
yeah, don't get to see a Jedi with a uh, blaster too often. Guess he changed his ways a little bit from Revenge of the Sith and obviously his lightsaber. So we're really excited for his show. Okay, there we go. So really excited for his figure. It's just really fun to be able to have another new Obi-Wan out there and uh, stay tuned for more. All right, so here we are. Let's start off with Obi-Wan himself, the Wandering Jedi. You see he does have the soft goods cloak. Got the lightsaber there. A little better picture there at the front and back of the package. Comes with Lola there. Leia's little droid. Again, without the soft goods here. With the soft goods. Put the cloak up over top of the head. Also from Obi-Wan, you have the Force FX Elite lightsaber here for Obi-Wan Kenobi. You see it will store on that little stand there with the saber down and with it up there. And it does light up, so that's awesome looking. Hello, Star Wars fans. Welcome. We revealed this character, Reva, the third sister Inquisitor, earlier today on Obi-Wan Wednesdays. We're really excited to be able to showcase yet another character from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. This is another character that is brand new from the ground up. You can see the package right here. She is looking nice and menacing. As you can see here in the pack out, she does come with her D-ring lightsaber. So that was something that we really wanted to showcase here. Open this character right up. So you can see those two lightsabers right here. It was kind of a stability thing. We wanted to make sure that both versions function correctly. This is her uh, key lightsaber, the Inquisitor lightsabers. This one just looks really slick. I love the shot of silver on the black. It just makes it look really cool and sophisticated. And getting into the figure herself. She comes with this soft goods cape. Uh, it does split apart here, as you can see. Just looks really cool and kind of elegant on her as well. And she comes with these two sabers. Looks really cool when she can uh, dual wield. Has all of the same kind of innovations that we've had with any of our characters we've done recently. Trying to make sure that we have the butterfly joints, really clean articulation breaks, nice stiff joints. So once again, just really excited to be able to showcase this. It's always fun to be able to show new characters. You can check out this character for more pre-order information tomorrow on most mainline retailers as well as the Hasbro Pulse and uh, stay tuned for more. So here is the star of the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, Reva, the third sister, Inquisitor. And yes, that is a joke, but it does seem like she was the star of the Obi-Wan show if you hadn't seen already. She does have her double-sided lightsaber there and has the ability to have it single-sided as well, so that's pretty cool. So there you see double and single. Here she's wielding both of them without the circle on it. You see she has a lightsaber on her hip to her as well, that's cool. So all kinds of options. To take on Darth Vader or Obi-Wan, whoever she wants to. Hello, Star Wars fans. This is the fifth brother Inquisitor. We've seen him previously on Rebels, but it's always really fun to be able to see these characters translated from animation to live action. So this one in particular, we are really excited with. Uh, we can take a look at that artwork on the side. Once again, looking really cool. The double ring lightsaber just always looks awesome. I love the design of those on the Inquisitors. Saw it in action in the trailer, and we will crack this guy open. So this character is uh, completely new from the ground up. He comes with his iconic double ring lightsaber and obviously the character itself, he is completely new. Okay. We are really happy with the likeness on this and it was a really cool translation from the animation to the live action. Obviously it comes with his lightsaber. The blades can pop off. And you can also put that 
onto his back for storage, just like this, which is a really cool feature. It's uh, really fun to be able to have different ways to display your characters, be able to showcase them in different ways. One of the things in particular that we were trying to really nail down and have consistency across all of our Inquisitors was the kind of gray on the outfit and the difference in colors from the black armor to the gray undersuit. We wanted to make sure that we got the color difference right, make sure that it looked like the reference. It's always fun to get more Inquisitors in line. We were really excited when we started getting in reference from Lucasfilm, just how many Inquisitors there were. You can check this guy out on most mainline retailers and also on the Hasbro Pulse. So stay tuned for more. So here's our fifth brother Inquisitor. Again, with that nice double-sided lightsaber, got the big old helmet on. Of course, we do recognize this actor from Fast and Furious. So pretty cool there if y'all didn't recognize him with all that makeup on. There's both sides of the package. I love the way the art actually connects to each other whenever you put the packages side by side. There he is in battle position here. But you never really saw this guy do much. It's cool how it can store on his back as well. And there is that saber. Both sides extended there. This morning, we revealed the Grand Inquisitor as we see him in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. We're really excited for this character. We knew that there were Inquisitors coming. This one in particular, just such an iconic look. We've seen the jump from animation to live action with the fifth brother. We've also seen him with Cad Bane. So it just makes the whole world feel a lot more cohesive, like they all interact with each other. This character is brand new from the ground up. It had a ton of great reference to be able to utilize uh, in developing this figure. Utilizes all of the techniques that we've had and come to expect from Black Series figures. Butterfly joints, uh, really good articulation. It's nice and hidden, so it looks really good when standing still, but still has a really great range of motion. Really wanted to make sure that we nailed his facial tattoos, the scarring, his likeness to the character as well. It's always something we always strive for and make sure that we can nail down in these characters. He also comes with a soft goods cape, which is really unique to him. He does have that two-tone with a black on the outside and red on the inside. Try to make sure we got a really nice deep dark red on that. A red that didn't look too vibrant, but was still very identifiably red. Sometimes the colors that we spec once they get into the actual product itself can look very different from the paper book that we picked the colors from. It's something that we're always trying to improve and it's something that, uh, that we're really excited about in this character. He does come with his dual bladed uh, ring lightsaber that we've come to expect from his Rebels appearance and that was also showcased really cool in the trailer that we saw for the show. Always excited to see new Inquisitors in entertainment. They always have such slick looking designs. So really excited to see him interact with Obi-Wan and the rest of the crew and tune in for more. We'll have more. Thank you. Here we are with the Grand Inquisitor. Of course, he did, spoiler alert, die and then come back, so that was cool. We got the soft goods cape, double-sided lightsaber, of course. There it is, get the big old bald head. Single-sided, double-sided, again, stores on his back, so that's awesome. And again, with that side art attaching to each other, I'd love to see what those actually look like all together once they're done. And here is Rupert Friend as the Grand Inquisitor. Welcome back, Stars fans. Today we have another reveal with the fourth sister from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Once again, there have been so many great designs that we've seen from these Inquisitors, and they're always something that's really fun to be able to bring to life. This one is a really cool alien, so it's always fun to be able to get different races and species into the Star Wars universe and especially into our collection. This one in particular, we really wanted to make sure that we captured her facial tattoos as closely as possible. It's something that we've been utilizing. We're using a combo of tampos and our new inkjet technology to be able to print those uh, details on her face to make them look really natural and realistic. And that inkjet technology has really helped these characters uh, come a long way in making them look exactly like they're just lifted from the show. 
We're just really excited about this character. This one comes with her iconic lightsaber as well, the dual bladed ring saber. So we're just excited to be able to get this character out there and kind of complete that collection of uh, all the Inquisitors. It, it'll be really fun. The one thing I really like about the Inquisitors in particular is they all feel like they have a family of design, but each one is kind of unique from each other. So when you're looking at one character versus another, you can tell that they're both Inquisitors, but they definitely have a unique, distinct silhouette, style, and everything like that. So it's just really fun. They'll, they'll look great on shelves together. We're just really excited about these characters. And uh, you can check out this character on most major mainline retailers, as well as Hasbro Pulse. And thank you, and definitely stay tuned for more. So here's the fourth sister Inquisitor. Got that orange looking skin. I love the way the outfit looks here in this action figure. You can see her lightsaber extended both sides and only single sided. And you can also see uh, that there is no package shots of this one yet, which is interesting. It's a really cool looking figure here for another Inquisitor. Hello Star Wars fans and welcome back. Uh, we revealed Ben Kenobi on Tibidon Station today on the Obi-Wan Wednesdays. Once again, just really excited to be able to showcase any Obi-Wan Kenobi figures, especially Obi-Wan himself here. Obviously still very much in hiding with the Ben Kenobi name. So you can see here on the side, this really cool looking, just moody drawing of Obi-Wan inside a pack. These are gonna look awesome all together. The murals that they've done on these are awesome. So we will jump right into this, uh, crack him open. This character does come with a few different uh, accessories. And so he is a brand new figure, um, comes with his uh, blaster, comes with his iconic lightsaber comes with uh, his backpack as well. And actually, this backpack does open, has a nice little living hinge so you can put stuff inside and store different elements inside there. Um, so that's a really fun feature of that. That's something we always try to do on backpacks. It's not always possible depending on the design, but where possible, we want to be able to have those living hinges to be able to function like a backpack. And Obi-Wan himself. So this is Ben Kenobi. He comes with, obviously he has a soft goods cape. We saw this outfit in the trailer. We wanted to make sure that he uh, just looked like he was lifted directly from the show. This character is from the ground up, just brand new. Um, his, he does have a bit of a different color. We don't normally see blue, especially not on Jedi. So it's really fun to have that nice pop of color to differentiate him from some of the other characters we've seen. We really wanted to nail the likeness on him in particular. We spent a lot of time on his likeness. It was something that we've been able to fine tune with all the various Obi ones we've done. So he has some really good articulation. He can get uh, some pretty nice tight angles in there on his elbow. It's really important to us on the Black Series to make sure that we don't break the aesthetic of the character while also having really good functionality. We wanna make sure that these look like they're pulled from the movie. And it's something that Tom in particular, our sculptor has done a really phenomenal job in hiding these joints while still making them function very, very well. So he has a lot of nice articulation in there. You can see that here. He has butterfly joints so you can get into those nice uh, kind of iconic uh, action poses as well. The soft goods cape can be removed as well. So this can be removed. Comes with the functioning holster. Put that right in here. Here. Don't get to see uh, Jedi with with uh, blasters too often. Then obviously comes with his iconic lightsaber. Come on, there we go. We are just really happy with this character. We're really excited to see kind of the final showdown between him and Vader. This character, it will be available for pre-order tomorrow on Target. So make sure to check back there and tune in for more. So here's another Obi-Wan figure, this time from the Tibidon station. Got his backpack there, lightsaber, and a blaster. Again with a soft goods cloak around him. So you see that cloak around the neck in thought here. You see the side of the package there again, beautiful artwork. Cloak covering the face, pulling the lightsaber out of the bag that actually works. Has the blaster on his hip. 
And there he is in action, looking really good. Hello, Star Wars fans. As you saw earlier today on Obi-Wan Wednesdays, Darth Vader was revealed as he looks in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. We're really excited for this character. It's always fun to work on Vader, no matter what style he is. When we initially received assets, we were told that this character is uh, pretty similar to his Rogue One outfit. Uh, the one difference is uh, his lapels uh, go underneath his shoulder pads in this one, not over them. So that is the key difference in this one. It's a little bit more in line with some of the other movies. So here is the artwork on the side. Just looks really cool, really captures that Vader look. We're really looking forward to his showdown with Obi-Wan for the rematch of the century. So that should be very fun. Uh, it's always fun to see Vader kick butt. So we will open this up. So Vader is always imposing and it's always really fun to be able to work on them. Uh, very long cape, got stuck in there a little bit. In particular for this character, for Vader in particular, I've always loved the soft goods on him. It feels like an actual cape and it, it falls, it has a really good weight to it. Uh, so we're really excited about that. Once again, the one key difference in this version is his uh, lapels do go underneath those shoulder pads. Uh, we're really happy with um, kind of how this character looks. In the movies, uh, in order to have his helmet pop on screen, they colored elements of his uh, face mask uh, silver to be able to catch that color a little bit differently. That is something that we recreated on this figure. It's just a nice element of Vader that helps make this feel more lifelike. Something with the helmeted characters in particular, they end up looking so good at this scale because they look like they're lifted directly from the movie or direct directly from the show. Uh, so we're just really excited for this character, really excited to see Vader return to the screen. It's always fun to see the biggest bad in the galaxy come back. You can check uh, tomorrow on most major retailers for pre-order information as well as Hasbro Pulse and stay tuned for more. And this was definitely the standout of the show. This is not the Darth Vader that I want from the show itself, but this is Obi-Wan Kenobi's Darth Vader. And if you saw the show, I don't want to spoil it, but there's definitely a scene where there's something happens to the mask that I'd rather see that head sculpt in our Darth Vader. There you can see him in package. With his lightsaber extended, I'm trying to use the force with his hand. But this was definitely the standout of the Obi-Wan show was that we got to see Darth Vader again and in, in, in between the uh, the prequel and the origin story. So that was awesome. There's that package. Hello, Star Wars fans, and welcome back to another Obi-Wan Wednesday. We have another reveal today from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. It is Tala. So this is another character that we're really excited to have in line. It's great to see some female representation in the Imperial ranks. It's definitely a welcome addition to our line. It's always just fun to do Imperial officers. They have such a slick look, um, especially with like kind of that muted green and brown color on her outfit. She comes with her standard uh, Imperial blaster pistol. So we're just excited to have her in the line. Um, this is another one that the likeness, I think we really nailed this one. We're really happy with how she looks. She has great articulation since she is a new figure. We were able to kind of build her from the ground up and get a great articulation in there to be able to get her into action poses. We're just excited to see more of her as she comes into the show. This character is going to be available for pre-order tomorrow on most major mainline retailers, as well as uh, Hasbro Pulse. So definitely check out for more pre-order details there and uh, definitely stay tuned. We'll have more to show you. We're really excited. So again, not having a lot of shots here, but here is Tala as the Imperial Officer. That actually looks really good. It looks like soft goods, but it's not. It's nice plastic. Got her blaster shooting both hands. That's pretty cool. So there's all those images with the white background. We have our Purge Trooper Phase 2 armor from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Interesting looking armor there. 
We did see this particular trooper as they were trying to blast through the blast door. There he is in action from the front and the back and the side. We also have one jack here. And I don't actually remember this from the show, so you guys have to forgive me for that, but I don't remember this particular character in the show. Interesting looking. Hello, Star Wars fans. Welcome back to another Obi-Wan Wednesday. We have another reveal today with Ned B from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. This is one of our deluxe figures. He is just this huge droid with a ton of detail, ton of deco. Comes with a really cool looking techie space hammer. He also has uh, the E5 blaster from the battle droids. So that's a kind of nice little fun connection there from the battle droids and the prequels, the fact that he uses that same weapon. The droid himself, we were utilizing some tampos and getting the uh, weathering on him. We were able to get a lot of great detail. It came out to great effect on this character. I am so happy with how he looks. The yellow really pops on this. He, he really stands out on the shelf and he'll look really cool and menacing with that big hammer and his blaster. With how big he is and with how bulky he is, definitely the articulation was, uh, was a bit of a challenge in terms of making sure that he is up to the stand standards of the rest of the figures that we've come to expect from the Black Series. But luckily our sculptor Tom has done a phenomenal job. He does have through holes in his elbows and his knees, so that's a really cool detail that is featured on this. So we have clear pins in there to make it look like uh, it's just clear all the way through. It's something that we're hoping to continue to utilize as we see more droid characters. You can check in tomorrow for more pre-order details at uh, most major mainline retailers, as well as Hasbro Pulse. So tune in for more, and uh, we're really excited to be able to share all of this Obi-Wan Kenobi product with you. And here we are with one of my favorite characters from the show, the non-talking droid here. That was just such a helpful person. Helpful droid, I should say. Ned B. You can see all the emotion without any emotion in his eyes. I love this droid. And I hate that he's gone, but this is really cool. Nice shot the way that they did this particular uh, action figure. Again, we don't have a picture of him in package yet, but he has his hammer, he has his blaster there, and you see all the battle damage on his face and his, his torso, everything on his body there. You see battle damage. Got the backpack on there too. So Ned B, definitely a really cool figure. Hello, Star Wars fans, and welcome back to another Obi-Wan Wednesday. We have another reveal today from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. It is another new sculpt for the Obi-Wan Kenobi character. This one, again, has another unique look. This one is a little bit closer to what we've come to expect from Revenge of the Sith, but has a bit more darker tones. We ended up actually sculpting up even a new face likeness just to make sure that he was differentiated from his other two releases. We wanted to make sure that he just, he looked unique, uh, especially since this was the third Obi-Wan that we were doing in this series. We wanted him to have further differentiation there. I am so happy with how this one turned out. This one is definitely getting the snap likeness of Obi-Wan, kind of come to expect and hope for every time we do a new character. And this one in particular just looks awesome. He has all of his iconic accessories we've come to expect from the other Obi-Wans. He has his blaster and saber. And he also has a kind of unique soft goods robes this time around. Uh, he has a sleeveless robe. It's a really cool look for him. It's a really sleek look. So uh, that is definitely featured here. And now something very important that we wanted to have in this. And we know that robes in particular are definitely a very important, iconic part of any Jedi's attire. So that was something that we really wanted to nail down here. Once again, we had all the learnings from the previous Obi-Wans to be able to refine into this last Obi-Wan that we have. And we are so happy with him. Um, our sculpting team did a phenomenal job. Our packaging team did a great job with the artwork on the side, as well as just the pack out in general. You can uh, check for more pre-order details tomorrow at most major mainline retailers and Hasbro Pulse. So check in for those pre-order details. So here we are with another Obi-Wan figure. This one is the Jabim figure, Hidden, Hidden Refuge. Again, with the soft goods cloak clone, he's got his lightsaber. So 
uh, made many outfit changes, I guess. So they decided they put him in three different uh, Black Series figures already. So then with and without the cloak. Hello, Star Wars fans. Welcome back. This character, Tika the Jawa, was just revealed today on Obi-Wan Wednesdays. We're, again, excited to be able to showcase even more Obi-Wan Kenobi figures. So uh, this Jawa, uh, as with many other Jawas before, um, is definitely a scrapper, has a bunch of different accessories like that. We saw that in The Mandalorian. We saw it in A New Hope uh, as they were scrapping for various parts. So this is an element that we do have in the pack. This is this little radiator piece. Uh, that he has in this wheelbarrow that uh, he has in the show, but this is his radiator piece and then this other piece of tech up here that he has salvaged uh, from his time on Tatooine. So we will crack right into this. So he does have a few unique pieces that differentiates him from some of the other uh, Jawas we've had in the past. Obviously, we, we took a, another look at his colors to make sure that they were accurate to the new entertainment. So we did make updates there and uh, have a new color palette for this character in particular. Put this down over here. Um, one kind of cool detail of this character, so on his bandolier, he obviously has this new vest, um, looking very dapper there. Uh, but on the upper side of his uh, um, bandolier here, he has this little translator and just a nice visual storytelling by even just having that little tech piece on his shoulder. Um, obviously has his little, his salvage pieces. We wanted to make sure that he came with more unique accessories, things that were relevant to the character, things that can help build out that world. The, the little doodads and everything like that is very iconic to Star Wars. And obviously comes with his blaster that we have seen uh, many a Jawa use prior. So yeah, he does uh, have this PVC that can flex out of the way so you can get him into um, some great poses. And he also has, yeah, articulation that we've come to expect from a lot of the Jawas. And uh, we also painted his eyes gold to be able to have that nice reflective quality. So that was an element that we really wanted to make sure that we got right on this and make sure that, that you have that nice pop of color. This character is going to be available for pre-order tomorrow on uh, Target. So make sure to check in for those pre-order details. So here we go with Tika, one of the Jawas here that actually showed up in the Obi-Wan series with, of course, Ben. Uh, he was trying to resell his parts to him. So that was very interesting. Got that nice little um, plastic over top of his robe. So it makes him look completely different than the other Jawas that we've seen in the past. So there he is in package from the side. And again, you can tell that this package does actually attach to the other packages with the image there. So that's pretty awesome. And he comes with all kinds of accessories, the gun, the belt around his shoulders there, the uh, magnet, I guess, whatever that is, and whatever the other piece is. I'm not sure, exactly sure what all those uh, attachments are that he comes with. But check all that out. Lots and lots of shots of him here. Got the golden eyes and black behind him.
ago with another HasLab try for Star Wars. Yes, they did back their very first two tries. Uh, they failed with the Rancor, and now it looks like they're going to fail again with a lightsaber. This was for Reva, the third sister, Force FX Elite lightsaber. You do see the light-up action. You can see where it uh, is all in. There is the ring, half and full. Lit up, not lit up. So it's really cool looking, but I got one problem with it. So check out that animation sequence. Animation blast deflect the de deflect. Animation battle sequence. Animation wall cutting effect. Animation dual effect. Here's the problem I have with it. $500 for a dang lightsaber. So 10 days ago, there was only 1,303 backwards. This was before uh, the, I'll show you in a second here, another Hasla project started getting going. So at that time, they'd only done 1,300 backers. So they had already had 40 some days to try to get this thing funded and there was only 1,300. That's horrible. 1,303, remember that number exactly, that they have to get back out of 5,000. Welcome to our booth. You are seeing it for the first time ever. Yeah, look Here at that. Here at our booth, at least, because like, we yeah. just did it on our panel. The Riva Force FX lightsaber, which is our new HasLab launching right now. It's already live. Yeah, um, it's already live. Go, go, go. Go, no. Buy them. Yeah, definitely go. But Don't go right now. It. Watch us first, yeah. <laughs> and then go. Good. Um, but yeah, it's great because we wanted it live. So we're live in person. We want to make sure we had a live model for you guys as well. So you see that here, it's playing out some animation that we talked about at the panel, um, as well as some of the ones that we, we have on the site itself. <laughs> yeah. And you see the animation going, you see the launch video. It was such an amazing launch It video. really was, yeah. The team did a really good job with it's that. It's such a fun piece to have worked on too. I mean, yeah. there's just so much detail in this thing from the die cast hilt the stand to go alongside the other sabers in your collection. Yeah. So All the effects. Oh. So the fans can come up close and personal and take a look at how the hilt looks. And of course, you have this displayed as the full ring lightsaber. The full one, yeah. yeah. But as you saw, it has the half ring lightsaber, single blade or double blade. Now you have the full ring lightsaber. Yep. And you see it uh, double bladed here. And we talked about some of the features that it has. Yeah, yeah. There's. Uh, we some of just lot. some of the features there's so many i mean this thing because it's effectively two lightsabers and they're talking to each other when you've got two blades in you get all sorts of great effects you get yeah. sounds that are unique completely unique to this thing it's hard to tell in here with all the noise but the sounds on this thing are you completely Fully. unique to yeah. this lightsaber yeah everything so. about it is it's just above and beyond i was i was shocked and as a star wars fan I loved getting all the assets in and hearing and seeing how unique this thing is and then developing it, playing with how the how the rings come apart so you can go down to that half ring, yeah. how you can go to the single blade, double blade, all, all those configurations. Yeah. Just super fun stuff. And again, shout out to our partners at Lucasfilm for yeah. really working closely with us. We wanted to make sure we had this in time for the first couple of episodes, so yep. we definitely got that in there. Um, and so, you know, you talked about some of the features that we have come to know and love, like progressive ignition, yep. um, wall cutting, blaster deflect, right. yep. yeah, like yeah, battle, battle clash. clash. All those classic ones are in there. Yeah. In both single and double bladed. Yeah. But we've also added in those new features, dual effect dual and battle effect. sequence. Like we're like yeah. dueling, the, yeah. yeah, like we're in a system. <laughs> duel to see who wins yep. and of course we have the battle sequence feature that was also new yeah, that's to a, the recent that's, lightsaber. That's such a fun one. I wanted to get that in there especially for single bladed sabers and double bladed sabers like this. It's really it's great like, to be able to display them crossed 
and all the the animation of a, a lightsaber battle going on on yeah. the blades and the and with the sounds. Yeah. So absolutely. Oh, yeah. it's turning on. And yeah. Off. So we've it's got it. We've got an animation, animation going on. Shout out to Zach, who's over here. Wave for the camera, Zach. Uh, <laughs> he Zach's our electrical animation, engineer yeah. who helped out with all the the effect sequences on the thing. He's been really so. busy. And like you mentioned, we do a single bladed, and then when we do the double bladed, it's like exponentially more difficult because we right. wanted it just play out flawlessly between the two. It's not like you have two single blades. Right, and it's doing it's, different things on yeah, both blades because we, we don't want it to be just doing the same thing on both blades. Yeah. It's it's really talking back and forth so it knows that, oh, I'm doing something over here now, now I'm gonna do it over here. And, and just really to have a full integrated double-bladed saber. I mean, that was the big key here. Like, yeah. we've never done that before. And it was a step up for us on work and technology and the communication. We coined so. it. Coordinated attack Tech technology. technology. Oh, you brought two? out the wings. All I right. didn't mean. <laughs> it's two blades, so you gotta like you know, like it's blasting here and it's deflecting <laughs> there, wall cutting on this side. Yep. You gotta do it all. Yeah. Um, so yeah, for those that are at celebration, you have to come. You have to take a look at it in person. See the hilt up close. Yeah, this see is a animation. it's a beautiful model. It's still a prototype. Yes. But yes, it's gonna look very close to this and probably even a little better. Yeah. This thing is gorgeous as it is, yeah. but we're gonna take it up even another notch. And we're, so. we're in really, I mean, we're at Celebration, we're in really bright light <laughs> yeah. right now, and it's still shining through and you can still see it. Yeah, we might um, even turn up the volume on the case so we can get so a little more noise. Yeah. I'm like literally yelling at you right now, <laughs> trying to <laughs> get the, past the The place the is a little noisy, thankfully, yeah. it's yeah. a lot. But, and so much fun, the energy is great. But we wanted, we wanted people to be, see? <laughs> Folks are getting Yeah, do <laughs> that. You can scan the QR codes and go buy one. Or back one. Go back one. Yeah, because we need to get to 5,000 5, pieces. They're 499 each. 499 99 5,000 yeah. pieces. It's so. on the campaign's live right now. Um, and you have until July 11th, 11.59 uh, p.m. Eastern time. Eastern, yes. Yes. So you have until then to back up our newest HasLab. And again, like, it's new from entertainment, so we yeah. still have a couple more episodes. Yeah, well, you ha we, we haven't seen everything the Sabre does everything. in the show. There's more coming. And we want to so. see it, um, for sure. And so, please, go on the site, check it out, you know, look at the details, look at the videos, um, and yeah. Don't forget, go to HasbroPulse.com, check this thing out, because if you're not here, you're not going to get a chance to see it in person. We've got a yeah. ton of great images on the site. All right, guys. Thank yeah. you for tuning in. We'll see you later. <laughs> Thanks. So there's a new little stand they're trying to show off for us. You can see it actually will stretch out all the way across and hold both sides up for you. So it actually can sit better on the stand that they already had for it. So very interesting that they tried to go this route with it. But guys, there's only seven days, eight hours left, and they only added seven backers. Seven new backers. Okay? In three days, there was only seven new backers game. That's horrible. Now, why is that? Well, number one, because this is way too expensive. But number two, because they threw another Hazlab project out at the exact same time. So the G.I. Joe guys and their classified threw out a his tank at the exact same time. That thing was funded within, I don't know, 10 hours. We're already getting ready to get to the third tier of unlocks on it to get the target of 8,000. I think it was only $300 instead of $500 for this lightsaber. So again, this is a fail for the Star Wars Hasbro HasLab team. Back-to-back -back fails. Uh, really cool looking lightsaber. My gosh, is it expensive. So I hate that for them. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you're ready. Hit that thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.